Yeah. Good deal. Come on. Come on, girl. Well, a little pickleball. Let's see, let's see how we do here. How long can we keep this going, <laughs> Mr. Brett Butler? Who's going to drop first? This is the drink of the, the week. week. Yes, with okay. Mr. Pickles. Right. Oh, okay. okay, we got to go. We got a second. Right. I guess we got to make a drink. But I guess we. This is fun, Mr. Look Pickles Gin, Pacific yes. Northwest Drink of the Week. Tell me about. Amazing. Okay, there's a dog. There's a dog. There's involved. a dog. Okay, I, I got to do a little research. I got to represent okay. these guys. This amazing gin that I just found. I just discovered because of them, <clears throat> based out of Eugene, Oregon. Okay. Mr. Pickles is a. Uh, American Pit Bull Rescue, seven years old, the owner, Ben, uh, rescued him from the pound, and he was kind of trotting around a Bakersfield mall in California. Okay. Went to the pound, learned his story, scooped him up, brought him to Eugene. Now he is the heart and soul, I understand, yeah. of the Wolf Spirit Distillery in Eugene, like Oregon. And he's like a cuddly little bear, essentially, because yes. he looks a little fierce, T Mr. Tough Can we guy. show this? Can we but show this? But he's really... He's, he's a so soft. adorable. He's a he's softie. He's a softie. Yes, yes. So he's the heart and soul of the distillery, and uh, that's Mr. Pickles. Mr. So it's a Pickles. great story, great rescue, but also this gin really is amazing. Well, I think some people were confused thinking that this is like pickle juice and gin. <laughs> no. has nothing to do with that. No, yeah. I, I, I love the name. I'd like to find out how it, you know he named him Mr. Pickles, but yeah. that's for another time. Th so, that's right. Okay. We are going to make a French 75. French 75, French 75. traditional uh, champagne cocktail with gin, lemon, and simple syrup. Okay. I got to alchemize it a little bit. Of so we're going to do, do a little bit. But the great thing about this gin is I'm making the drink is <clears throat> we're going to do about an ounce and a half yeah, this has 100% soft winter wheat, which I didn't know that is something that goes in gin. Huh. Um, <clears throat> 12 botanicals. It's got Sencha green tea. It's got uh, pink pepper or black peppercorns. It's got just see, these really amazing herbaceous. You no, know, I'm confused. When you pour the drink, yeah. it is not blue. Is no. the bottle blue? N the bottle's blue. Isn't that great? The packaging oh, is incredible. Oh, the bottle's blue. Okay, so the liquid yeah. is not blue. Yeah. Okay. The gin is the gin is clear. However, what I did was so simple syrup. I did a lavender uh, vanilla. I infused some butterfly pea blossom tea, which essentially oh, is very very blue, um, in this. And so I just added a few more flavors. So do you see like that's yes, really I dark that's dark a, dark yeah, dark. That's dark. A deep so we'll see how this plays in the drink. I love lavender. Almost like a uh, green. Yeah, yeah. I love infusing tea in simple syrup, A, because it's very good and very healthy for you. Sure. Uh, so we're always trying to get those flavors in there. Excuse me. I'm going to mm -hmm. grab this. You got the sugar. You know, we got to, it's all about balance with cocktails. We're going to do a little bit of fresh lemon. And we're going to do about the same. Both of these are about half an ounce to three quarters of an ounce. And we'll throw that in there. Now listen, if you're making this at home, typically you really you can just add all the ingredients to the champagne or prosecco, give it a little stir. I just like making sure all these things are well incorporated mm -hmm. and mixed up, especially with lemon juice. Um, sure. So we're gonna give it a nice shake here. Okay. And you know, you gotta do a little shimmy and a shake. A little shimmy and a shake. I know it's gonna be cold here. She's gonna make it cold. It is. Oh, you knew you want me to do it. Yeah, you're the it pro. Is cold you're in the here. pro. Oh, no, this makes you it gotta really cold. There you go. Feel like I'm like pick a like ball. Cocktail. <laughs> yes. Look at you. Well, I, but I don't have that. Harder. But but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it, Brett. Oh, and you should have too long. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. It is. It is. Oh. A little bit of flair here. Okay, so we got that. Really simple, you guys at home. Gin, mm -hmm. sugar, lemon, boom. And we start boom. the champagne. So we start serving oh, it like so I used to do at home. Oh, so you pour the champagne. Yeah, I, I started a little bit of champagne because if I do it at the bottom and you start stirring it, that champagne you know, is going to bubble yes. right out of the glass. Okay. So I learned that the hard way. So I'm going to pour it all right in there. And... So make a great New Year's cocktail, too. Great New Year's cocktail, you guys. It's very simple to make. Just going to top it off. Now you know me. I'm all about flair. And by the way, I love these guys at El Toro. Um, yes. They're doing the same thing. They're so fun. I was intimidated. They got cocktail <laughs> game. I, know. I mean, I want to go. It's yeah, so you guys got to go check out El Toro. I love those guys. So we just do this. a little aromatics. A little flair. A little flair. It's all about mm -hmm. most of our taste is smell. Yes. So you capture it, take it, that off. Look at for the little you. lemon. I know. The we lemon got a little lemon peel. twist on there. I think the last time we did this, you almost burned your nose. So let me just take this off. Yeah, let's not burn my nose. <laughs> it's such a pretty color. 
Yes. Lavender French 75. Thank you, Mr. Pickles. Amazing. Oh, that's good. Isn't that good? Yes, that's very good. Yeah. Brett Butler, Yummy. as always, thank yes. you so much. Mr. Pickles, thank We're you. We're going maybe, back to Pickleball. time we can meet Mr. Pickles Love to. in person. Yeah. All right, Cody, you, you want to come over and draw here a little bit?